What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I hope you like this video. Well, baby, this is the episode that we have been waiting for, okay? This is the episode that, like, we, like, I, look, they edited it down from what I understand, but listen, it's still okay. This is Big Brother. This is episode seven. So, on this episode, we had, you know, we left off with, Brittany and um, um, Michael being put on the block. Uh, Turner saying, hey, you know, don't trust them. But if this doesn't work out, my backdoor plan is to get Taylor. Because the whole house wants her out anyway. And it is what it is. So, the day goes on. And... Um, I'm sorry, my notes are short. But anyway, so the day goes on and, you know, what ends up happening is, I'm going to just go on, forget my notes. I'm going to just tell y'all because it don't even matter. I'm going to give y'all what happened. So they decide that, you know, Nicole is like, um, I mean, you know, Turner, basically they put the plan in place to backdoor Taylor. And Nicole is on board. She's like, that's cool because she's my, you know, my bestie buddy, whatever, my festy bestie, whatever. And I get it. I understand. But I know that I'm not the target. It's cool. And we got to get Taylor out of here. She's like, she's got to go. She's got to go. Because, of course, somehow y'all have decided that she is the devil incarnate. And she is m manipulating this house. And she's doing something. And she's absolutely doing nothing. And she absolutely has no alliances in the house. But clearly she's a threat to somebody. Now, Monty and Taylor have this really great conversation about colorism. And she explains that she's not quick to open up to people because she's been really hurt in the past that, you know, even people, you know, her own people have hurt her. Huh, Monty? Hmm. Hmm. Um, and she says that, you know, colorism exists in all cultures, which is true. It exists in a lot of other cultures, she said. But, you know, she's been really hurt by other black people basically alienating her or whatever because of her skin color and so yeah she doesn't really trust a lot of people she doesn't really open up really quickly and that's maybe been to a detriment to her in this game and Monty's like oh my goodness that really gives me a different point of view that really gives me a different way I look at you I really appreciate you opening up to me whatever Monty whatever you cannot be redeemed moving on um so Nicole gets upset because she has to throw the competition and she's such a competitor and she's such an athlete and she doesn't want to throw the competition. So she's in the room having a whole meltdown. I mean, she asked everybody not to come in the room. The only person she's allowing in the room is Daniel, but everybody outside of the room knows she's crying. Now, because they know that her mother is battling cancer, that's really what a lot of people assume. They assume that either she's missing her mom or maybe she got some bad news about her mom and so they're all on the outside like jasmine's crying and everybody on the outside is feeling like you know so taylor says hey monty do you mind leading us in prayer you know i'm really sorry to hear about you know like 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 let's lead us in prayer and i'm so glad that they showed that moment that taylor was outside asking for them to pray for nicole and for nicole's mom while nicole and daniel were in the room talking cold hard cash shit money about taylor and it was funny because she was like i don't even have anything against taylor and then like five minutes later she was like yeah she's gotta go she's horrible she's she's just terrible she's diabolical and daniel was like yes i mean she's she's bad for my game i mean she's not even a good person where you get this from that she's not a good person i don't even understand how you feel like she's bad for your game because you put her on the block dude it's big brother like it is what it is you put her on the block the first week move on bruh move on so she's like I can't throw a competition. This game is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Are you serious right now? Like, all of these people that claim to be super fans, I'm so confused at how y'all are a super fan. Do you know how many people have thrown competitions in Big Brother history? Hell, there are people who threw competitions who were probably smart enough to not let us know that they threw the competition. They just freaking lost. Like, you can't, it, you can't. You cannot sit here and tell me that you had this whole breakdown because you have to throw a comp. Are you serious? It is not the Super Bowl. It is not the World Series. You are not going to get a gold medal in the Olympics if you throw this comp. Bruh, it is big brother. And if your big, bigger target is to get Taylor out, I'm not understanding. So after she starts letting people in, Taylor comes in and she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. She said, listen, girl. 
Do what you have to do. Do what's best for you. I mean, it's okay if you need to tap out. And let's be let's 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 understand that is because they all thought that you were crying about your mom, thinking that maybe something had happened to your mom or maybe her health had taken a turn for the worse. She wasn't telling you to quit the game because you can't take it because you're not mentally strong enough. She was like, listen, at the end of the day, some things are more important than this damn game. And if you are, you know, have to tap out because of that. Then, then, then we'll understand, and nobody's going to think any think bad about you. Now, honestly, Taylor, you probably could have just said it once and let it go, but you did have to say it more than once, which I think pissed Nicole off even more. So Nicole gets pissed off, and we see her talking to Daniel. Now, from my understanding, her rant went a lot worse than what we saw, but we got the gist of it, okay? On CBS, you gave us the gist of it. She goes outside and tells a group of people, oh my goodness, I can't believe that she's telling me to quit. She's telling me that I should quit or that it's okay if I decide to quit. Like, I didn't need her to tell me that. And all of a sudden, Daniel goes off, that's it, I'm done with her. I'm not speaking to her again. I'm sick of her. I'm done with her. So Taylor comes out not knowing that the whole room is now pissed off at her because Nicole came out there and told everybody, you said she needs to quit. And Daniel goes off and he starts cussing and fussing at, at Nicole. And he's like, I mean, at Taylor. And he's like, you are you are a terrible person. Don't speak to me anymore. Don't speak to me again. And, Nicole, and Taylor's like, okay, all right. And she's like, he walks off in a huff. And the rest of them are sitting there. And Taylor's like, okay, like, he was playing, right? Like, he was joking. And the rest of them are looking at her like, girl, no, he wasn't playing. And she was like, but... But I thought he was joking. Like, what did I what did I do? And Nicole was like, well, I'm not going to speak for Daniel. But if you feel like you got a problem with Daniel, you need to go talk to Daniel. So she goes into the other room. And Daniel starts going off on her. And he even blames her for Paloma. Tell myself, I know what you did to Paloma. I saw what you did to Paloma. And you're not going to do it to Nicole. You're not. So don't speak to me. And don't speak to Nicole for the rest of this game. You're a terrible person. So now Taylor is literally like, crying and she's like what did I do so she goes back to Nicole and she apologizes and says listen I didn't mean anything by what I said like I didn't in any way shape or form sorry about that she was like I didn't in any way shape or form I didn't you know like if I said anything that upset you or pissed you off like I didn't mean it I'm sorry that wasn't my intention like I'm you know like and Nicole was like well you just need to really think about what you say to people and what you talk to people because and the way you talk to people because I don't need anybody to give me permission to do anything I am grown and I'm this and I'm that and this, this, this. so now the, so now Taylor is really like what the hell has happened and so she goes into the diary room and she's having a total breakdown, right? Now, all of this is happening before the veto. Mind you, I forgot to tell y'all, they got picked to play in the veto. So, all of this has happened right before the veto. So, of course, you know, now they have to go into the veto and they ain't even, they're like, they mad at each other. So, you know, of course, um, Taylor is worried that she's going to throw the comp at this point or at least not try her best. And Taylor's not stupid. She knows that, like, there's a possibility that she could be the back door. Like, I, she ain't totally clueless. So they go out to play the damn competition. And listen, Jasmine, for you to be Miss Little Billy Badass Bully and thinking you running something and thinking you in charge of the girls, you, I'm going to need you to compete in a competition where you don't get injured or have to tap out, okay? So you want HOH, but you hurt your damn ankle. Now, I ain't never seen nobody on a sprained ankle walk around the way you've been. Listen, I have had plenty of sprained ankles. Now, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's modern medicine. But you and this scooter are getting on my nerves, okay? You had a sprained ankle, ma'am. When I was back, you know, you know, a long time ago, I'm old. But you put your foot up, you elevate your foot for, you know, a day or so. You ice it down. You take a couple of aspirin. Shit. I was back outside playing basketball, okay? Let it go, girl. Let it go. But neither here nor there. It's time for them to compete in the, um, in the POV and... You got the harness on. It's a height competition. You afraid of heights. And you literally, I, I don't know if you hyperventilated. I don't know if you just had anxiety. But she literally passed out to the point where the medics had to come and get her. They had to stop the game. They had to put everything on pause. And um, she ended up not competing. 
they cleared her now. They medically cleared her to compete, but she said, well, due to her anxiety and her fear of heights, she wasn't going to do it. So the only two people, the only two teams competing was Michael and Brittany and um, Taylor and um, Nicole. And I was like, oh, well, there's that. So, of course, Michael and Brittany end up winning. I'm not going to drag that out. They end up winning, and which sets up the perfect back door for somebody. The question now is, who's going to be that back door? Well, Joseph is like, listen, I ain't really appreciating what I'm seeing going on around here. Like, there is clearly an alliance that we are not a part of. And I don't really appreciate how they are coming for um, um, Taylor and how they're making her public enemy number one. Like, at the end of the day, Taylor ain't never did nothing to me. She not hurting my game. She ain't even bothering me. So... They are all starting to think, duh, 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 duh. well, outside of this girls' alliance, they're all starting to realize that, hey, there's something else going on here. There's a whole different alliance that we don't know nothing about, that we are not a part of. And they're talking and talking and talking. And finally, Monty goes to Taylor and is like, listen, you need to meet me in the HOH room later on tonight. Like, we got some stuff to talk about. And Taylor is so happy that somebody is finally including her in something. She's like, listen, I can count on one hand how many times anybody's tried to talk game with me since I've been here. So the fact that I'm getting invited to the HOH room, oh, I'm all in. And somehow, all of them got into the HOH room. It was Kyle. It was Brittany. It was Michael, Joseph, Monty, and Turner, right? They're all up in the HOH room and Taylor, of course. And they're putting all of their d -d 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 together and realizing that not only was Taylor telling the truth when she told them that this was, there was an all-girls alliance and they were coming for the guys, um, but they realized that this alliance not only has been working and has been functioning, but that the quote-unquote girls alliance has eliminated two girls. Brittany thought she was in the um, girls group alliance, but realized she ain't really in it like she thought she was. So she don't have no alliance to, to them or no allegiance to them, I should say. So at the end of the day, they decided they're going to start their own alliance called The Leftovers. And they are going to backdoor Amira. Because they realize that Amira is the, is the head of this, of this monster. And if they cut off the head, then they feel like that they can control the rest of them. And that they realize that if they get rid of Amira, they have the numbers. Because the seven of them against the, 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 the five or six girls and Daniel, because we're going to go ahead and put Daniel in that group, because Daniel was acting like a whole bitch when he came, the way he came at Taylor. And I cannot wait for these people. Listen, I ain't never been so vested in seeing these exit interviews and these, um, like, when they go on these podcasts and do these interview, interviews and hear what they have to say. I never really used to look at all that stuff, okay? But when I say I cannot wait to see what these people say when they come up out of there and they get a chance to see how they look. First of all, did y'all hear Paloma? Okay, I, I'm going to give y'all two minutes on this. Paloma done done a couple of interviews. She did the USA thing. Um, and then she did, you know, she spoke a little bit or whatever. She is literally still trying to gaslight us into thinking that, like, well, Taylor did a lot of stuff y'all just didn't see. Ma'am, the whole purpose of Big Brother is that you are on camera 24 hours a day seven days a week for the entire time that you are there. At what point did Taylor do something that we didn't see? Unless it happened in the shower and you were in the shower with her, man, we saw it. We saw it all. So what part of Taylor, what did Taylor do to you now? What exactly happened? How bad was she? How bad did she treat you? Girl, she is still acting like all we saw was what was on camera talking about something. Y'all just didn't see it. Man, we literally saw everything. Now, I didn't because I don't watch the live feeds. But we literally saw it all. Like, we even watch y'all sleep. Like, I need you to understand that the only time the feeds go down is when they're doing, like, the veto competition, the HOH stuff, or if there's something going on that they feel like they need to take the feeds down. But it's not enough of that for us to miss everything for what we saw, okay? Listen. Anyway, moving on. Amir thinks she made in the shade and... Of course, because this was so much drama, this was such a drama-filled episode, we didn't even get the the, the veto. Normally, we would get who, who actually, because we know that Michael and Brittany obviously are going to use the veto, but is Turner going to really stick with it, or is he going to get cold feet? Because we see it happen all the time. They're like, yeah, 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 and then something happens, and we come back, and it's like, what the fuck? I thought you was going to backdoor so-and-so. I thought you was going to do this to so-and-so. So I don't believe nothing until I see it or read it on the internet. Um, I mean, you know, when I go to my, my Twitter feeds, but I don't know if they really did it or not, but the plan was that they was going to put a mirror 
and Terrence up and get Amir out of there and backdoor her. I, for one, cannot wait to see her face if that actually really happens. Because I feel like her face and Nicole's face and Jasmine's face is going to be priceless. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.